Hi again, everybody. It is Victor from Mark Lawrence's Playbook. I am the uh, over-under guy for Mark Lawrence's Playbook Publications, and we're a little over halfway through the NFL season. Of course, we say Happy Thanksgiving to you and yours as we review the NFL from last week and week 11. We take a look at this week's uh, week 12 card as well. Again, you know, for a lot of sports bettors out there, this uh, four-day Thanksgiving holiday, it's going to be one of the best of the entire season. Starting at 1230 Eastern on Thursday, we've got four great days of NFL action, not to mention a tremendous rivalry weekend in college football as well. So, you know, make sure to enjoy the football, enjoy the food, enjoy the fun, enjoy the bets, but most importantly, enjoy the time with family and friends because that is definitely by far the uh, most important part of this uh, entire holiday, if you ask me. Now, NFL action. Last week, week 11 in the NFL, you know, for those of us who thought that one decent scoring week in the NFL might open up the floodgates of overs, we can probably think again after an 8-6 and six over under result back in week 10, the results of last weekend all came right back down to earth with 71% of all games once again going under the total. That was four overs and 10 games that went under the total. For a while there, it looked like it might be a, a split weekend because the first nine games ended up going four overs and five unders. But the three late afternoon Sunday games all went under. The Sunday night game, of course, went under. And the Monday night game obviously went under with the uh, great stats for unders thus far in Monday night football. So where are we right now? The average combined points last week were 41.3. That's right about where we are in the NFL these days. The year-to-date results, we've seen 64 overs, 99 unders. That's a shade under 61% under the total this year in the NFL. Of course, all of our stats, all of our numbers can be verified in this week's totals tip sheet newsletter as well. The low average for the entire season is 43.4 combined points in the NFL that is where we're at. Obviously, you know, the most striking or eye-popping situation has been the extreme one-sided over-under results in NFL night games. Last week, we saw one go over, which was a little surprising. The Thursday night game last week between the Ravens and the Bengals did end up going over the total. But like what has happened this season, the Sunday night game went under. The Monday night game went under. We've now seen 35 NFL nighttime games this season. There have been eight overs. There have been 27 unders, 77% under the total. All NFL night games this season, only 40.7 points per game. Again, if you are possibly thinking about playing the Sunday night over or the Monday night over, I would caution against that this week. There are a couple of good matchups that indicate once again that low scoring will indeed be the case. Now, speaking of low scoring, this week's low over underlines. You know, there's four games this week in the NFL with very, very low over underlines of 37 or less points. Those four games, Titans against the Panthers, uh, Bengals against the Steelers, Giants versus the Patriots and the Browns versus the Broncos. Recent results uh, from our database tell us that those low lines are pretty much justified. In the last five years in the NFL, all games with an over-under line of 37 or less points have gone eight overs, 25 unders, that's a shade under 75% under the total. So those games are usually justified. 
And again, those four games that I mentioned, don't attempt to go over the total in any of those games. It's either layoff or bet the under with the Titans, Panthers, Bengals, uh, Steelers, Giants, Patriots, and Broncos, and the Browns. There you have it, our review of Week 11, our preview of Week 12. With that said, and before we get back to the Mark Lawrence podcast, we got a free play for you this week. It's a halftime, and it's in college football. We're going to take a look at, obviously, the biggest game of the whole weekend, Ohio State taking on Michigan. Two remaining undefeated teams from the Big Ten Conference. The over-under line in the game is 46. And while I do like the under in the game, the real play, the one that we're going to be betting, is under in the first half. The over-under line in the first half when the Buckeyes take on the Wolverines is 23 points. Both of these teams have been fantastic first half under teams on the season. And that's going to be your free play this week. Under the total in the first half, the number is 23 points when Ohio State takes on Michigan. That game, of course, kicking off at 12 noon Eastern time. That's your free play for this week. Let's get back to the Mark Lawrence Against the Spread podcast. And, of course, like I mentioned at the top of our segment, best of luck this weekend. Enjoy the four-day holiday weekend. And happy Thanksgiving to you and yours.